Make your Mustang steering wheel look the part with a Motorsports-inspired Drake Muscle Cars steering wheel. Improve the driving comfort and the aesthetics of your Mustang's interior with a quick swap of the factory steering wheel. Follow along as we install our Drake Muscle Cars carbon fiber steering wheel onto our 2020 Mustang GT. Before we start, make sure the wheels are pointed straight forward with the steering wheel in the 12 o'clock position. We'll start by disconnecting the negative terminal on the battery and waiting about 20 minutes before working on our Mustang to prevent any safety concerns regarding the airbag installation process. The tools we're using for this installation include a pin punch, an impact wrench, a 24 millimeter socket, a T20 Torx bit, plastic pry tools, silicone grease, and blue Loctite. We also used a torque wrench. We'll start by removing the airbag, which is done by locating the small release holes located on either side of the steering wheel. We're using a pin punch, but you can use a small screwdriver or a four millimeter Allen key to push in the spring clips. What you want to do is press inward on the clip and then slightly tug on the airbag and it should unclip and pop out. Repeat the process for the other side to fully release the airbag module. Now carefully pull out and flip the airbag module over to disconnect the three electrical connectors. Start with the black connector towards the back. Using a plastic pry tool, we gently pop out the orange tab locks to free the connectors. Give them a slight wiggle to free them loose. These are color coded and will only connect to its corresponding connector so there's no need to mark them. We can now put the airbag module aside for reinstallation later. Now let's get to the main gray connector which controls the electrical switches. It's got a release tab so make sure to depress it before pulling out the connector. Since our Mustang has the heated steering wheel option, there's a connector right below the large center bolt that must be also disconnected. Using the impact wrench, carefully remove the 24 millimeter bolt. Once removed, we can now remove the steering wheel from the steering column. Be careful fishing the wires through the openings of the steering wheel. Note the clock spring position. We need to make sure the connector is in the 12 o'clock position before reinstallation. Now that we got our steering wheel off, let's go ahead and transfer all the button controls and bezels over to the new Drake Muscle Cars steering wheel. Make sure to use a soft cloth or surface as to not to damage the steering wheel during installation. Start on the left side and working your way around, remove the eight screws from the OEM steering wheel. Make sure to keep track of which screw goes where as they have different screw shoulders. Take note of how the upper control mates in place with the upper shell before removing. Using your fingers and a plastic pry bar, pull the left wing bezel free from the steering wheel core. Carefully turn it upside down, revealing the connector. Push down on the release tab on the connector and carefully slide it out. Set the controls off to the side. Let's go ahead and remove the lower wing. Use the plastic pry bar to pop off the bezel. Now let's remove the right hand side wing controls using the previous procedure. Be careful flipping it around when removing the connector. All connectors are color coded so there is no need to mark them. We can now start on the lower controls. Using the T20 Torx bit, remove the two screws holding the lower controls. Note the location of the screws as they are both unique and need to be installed in the same place. Carefully using a small screwdriver, push down on the release tab and remove the connector. Move on over to the other side and remove the two screws noting their placement. Carefully remove the connector from the button control. Remove the screw that fastens the paddle shifter to the steering wheel core. Once loose, you can remove the connector by pushing down on the release tab. Do this for the other side as well. Note how the paddle shifter connectors are also color coded. Now we can place the steering wheel core face down and using the plastic pry bar, carefully remove the rest of the rear shell assembly. There's still one more connector to disconnect before we can pull the rear shell off. Once off, set the rear assembly aside. All that's left to remove is the steering wheel dampener. Using the pin punch, carefully push the four orange rubber grommets holding onto the steering wheel dampener. Be careful and be gentle as you don't want to tear into the grommets. With the plastic pry bar, then you can pop off the dampener. We can now start the reassembly process on our new Drake Muscle Cars steering wheel. Start by attaching the steering dampener. Use some silicone grease on the grommets and then softly press into the backside of the grommets until they are seated. I used a pin punch to gently pop the grommets into place. With our heated steering wheel, we need to make sure to route the wires like this following the rear shell assembly. 
Attach the rear shell and feed the wires through the steering core, making sure none of the wires are pinched. Once the rear shell is seated, flip the steering wheel around and tuck in the wires into the channel. I used our pin punch to help guide the harness into the channels of the rear shell. It's really important to make sure these wires are tucked into the rear shell for proper assembly. With the rear shell in place, make sure it is firmly seated. Next, we can attach our paddle shifters. Make sure they are positioned properly before tightening. Check the paddle shifters for full range of motion before torquing the 44 inch pounds. We can then plug in the connectors on the paddle shifters. Make sure the connector colors match and are fully seated. Next up, let's mount the V-shaped lower wing bezel. Make sure to tuck the wires along the channel so the bezel mounts flush. It should snap into place. Finish up by tightening the two screws and tighten them the 44 inch pounds. We'll install the left hand controls next. Start by carefully connecting both upper and lower controls. We'll start by mounting the lower control first and tighten the upper screw first. Then we can mount the upper control which share a screw. Make sure to snap the rear shell with the upper control in place. We can now attach the remaining screws we removed earlier. Be sure to use the same screws that you removed earlier so the control assembly is attached correctly. We'll repeat the same process for the other side. Start with the lower controls first, attach the connector, then tighten the top screw first since you cannot access it with the upper control in place. Then install the upper control starting with the connector first, Snap in the rear shell into the upper controls before tightening the bolts. Once we have all the screws torqued to 44 inch pounds, do one last inspection of the wires and routing. We're now ready to install our Drake Muscle Car steering wheel. Carefully feed the wires from the clock spring back through the steering wheel, exactly the reverse of removal. Make sure the clock spring is in the same position with the connector located at the 12 o'clock position. Now you can slide the steering wheel back onto the steering column and make sure everything is positioned at the 12 o'clock mark. Using blue Loctite, reinstall the 12 millimeter bolt onto the steering wheel. Torque it down to 35 foot-pounds. Now we can connect the large gray connector that controls the electrical switches and right below it is our heated steering connector. Go ahead and plug that in making sure the connections are solid. Finally we can install our airbag module. Flip it upside down so we can attach the two connectors. Firmly plug in the connectors and push down the orange locking tabs into place. Lastly, connect the long black connector making sure the wires are not tangled up. Carefully flip the airbag module around and install it by pushing it back into the steering wheel making sure there are no wires in the way. Once you've centered the airbag module in place, you can then push it directly into the steering wheel. An audible click should be heard to confirm proper engagement. With our airbag in place, all that's left is to connect our negative battery. Not only does our Drake Muscle Car steering wheel look right at home, its race-inspired look and feel adds that final touch that we can experience every time we ride our Mustang. At Drake Muscle Cars, we've made personalizing your Mustang easier than ever. Check out all our performance parts from Drake Muscle Cars at holly.com.